Some homeowners pushing the hashtag no mow may. Have you heard of this one? I have not. I hadn't either until mm -hmm. now. The idea is to allow yards to grow out and attract local pollinators such as bees. I'm going to have a lot of weeds in my yard apparently. Well, local beekeepers tell CBS 46 is Sawyer Bussy there are plants and flowers that families can add to their yard to support the pollinators while also complying with city ordinances. Jimmy Gatt's yard isn't perfectly manicured, and he's proud of that. Planting things very deliberately that are actually going to produce nectar is going to be very good for our pollinators. He knows what's growing here. Tilia americana, it's Monarda didyma, Hamamelis virginiana, it's Aesculus parviflora. Every plant has a purpose, every flower and tree a job. This is crimson clover. It's actually going to improve your soil without adding any fertilizer. And the bees actually love it. Jimmy is the president of the Metro Atlanta Beekeepers Association. He believes in creating and advocating for spaces that attract pollinators. He's doing that right here in his yard. Grass is our number one cultivated crop. And this is a plant that feeds no humans, no animals, and no bees. So for this reason, this is why a lot of people started the No Mow May campaign, because it actually allows some of those plants to grow. And hopefully some of those plants that are not grass will bloom and actually feed our pollinators. There are some areas where the rules are stricter as far as what your yard is allowed to look like. And local beekeepers say not to worry. There are still ways that you can contribute to creating a beautiful space for local pollinators. Figure out what they can actually do that will comply with your regulations and if instead of mowing if actually planting a shrub that will bloom and produce nectar especially in summer then that might actually be the better option for those homeowners. There's a list of pollinator friendly plants and trees on the Metro Atlanta beekeeping website. Summer is a time when the number of pollinators is the highest and the amount of nectar is the lowest. Sawyer Bussy, CBS 46 Atlanta.